Hey, it's Melissa K, and I'm back with a quick garden update video. So I'm going to show you what my husband and son did yesterday in the garden. Just look at it. See the, the rose. Look at that. So, yeah, so basically they went and got the tiller yesterday and they tilled the garden for me. I'm so happy because my garden was in desperate need of weeding. And um, we're going to transplant the summer, the rest of the summer crop soon. So um, this pretty much, you know, gets gets things in motion um, we went ahead and added some more manure and limes um, limestone and um, some other fertilizers but so far it's looking good uh, I'm gonna show you guys <laughs> what I did so there was some crops that I had that were like struggle growing um, like for instance the beets not the beets the turnip roots the turnips so there was some turnips that didn't grow um like i wanted them to and so i didn't want them to be destroyed while they were tilling so i removed them uh yesterday in the morning and this is basically about 24 hours later and as you can see they're like warped and dying i should have probably put them in some water um but i just didn't so i'm trying i'm gonna go ahead and put them back in the ground and I'm hoping that they will be saved and start growing again. And also I have some cabbage that I've um, actually removed the roots out of too. This is one of the cabbage leaves. Um, and I'm gonna put these back in the ground as well. And we're just gonna see what happens. These, this is one of my garden experiments, you know, what I call it. Um, see if I can get anything to grow. Um, this is what I did with the cabbage leaves the day before they actually tilled. Um, I basically took them all out and decided to replant them like in rows like this and create hills. Uh, my husband thinks they're too close. So I'm going to go ahead and remove them again. Hopefully the roots didn't like actually stick because um, I don't know how much time I would be able to pull it out and push them back in the ground and they actually still grow. So, you know, I don't even know if it will work, but I'm trying. <laughs> so um, he says they're too close. So I'm going to actually spread them apart a little bit more. So I gotta, I just got to do redo this area again. And then I'm going to put them somewhere else in the garden. Probably next to the garlic over here. Um, yeah. And so, um, but anyway, I'm going to show you guys the turnip root that I just put back in the ground. So this morning when I took, you know, when I, look, I just pulled off. Uh, oh yeah, here's another turnip actually. It's a baby one. So I can basically, I'll just put this, push this in the ground pretty much and just leave it there for a few more weeks and hopefully we'll have a full grown root, a full grown turnip. So let me just. So see how it breaks? It looks like it's pretty much dead, right? Um, and then this one, I just stuff put this one back in the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my hole again because um, I didn't film it. So I'll just go ahead and do that real quick. Push it down in there. And cover it up and. trying to get these grass weeds and stuff from around here because sometimes it'll just grow again Oops. and 
All right. And so as the turnip pushes up, as it pushes up, then, you know, you can all get more dirt and just cover it if it's not big enough for me. We like our turnips like medium to large. Um, so a lot of times it'll push up when it's like kind of small we can't really do nothing with that so now this has worked i haven't left them out for 24 hours before pushing back pushing them back in the ground to like grow some more so this is totally like a straight up experiment because i don't know if they're like look at it looks dead to me <laughs> so i don't know if it's gonna grow uh, but the roots are still there, so most likely it will, and these leaves will probably just drop off and die, and then it'll probably get more leaves. Yeah, that's a roots. Yeah, so these leaves will probably drop off and die, and then, you know, more leaves will probably just grow. So that's what I'm assuming is going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and plant, push another one back in the ground. Um like let's see this is another little baby one right here so i'm gonna go ahead and push this one back in push it right here just kind of get it to where it's kind of taunt it's tight you know it's not just easily to come out And the way I cook the turnips and the turnip roots, so I use the turnip leaves. Sometimes I juice them um, in my green smoothies, or I just basically cook them down and um, eat them like greens, like any other greens. Um, stir fry them sometimes, or put them in my soup. And then the turnip itself, uh, we pretty much use it as a base when we make our soup and we drink soup pretty often in my house like probably every week we drink some kind of soup so um it's really good as a st like soup stock or soup base pretty much so that's why I like to plant these because <laughs> we use them a lot it's pretty much staples in our house and it also encourages us to eat more whole foods as well. Whole food, fresh vegetables. You know, that's how we're trying to do it. I'm trying to cut out all the packaged garbage. So. Okay, and see, here's another one. And I'm trying to, I'm definitely trying to do it at least four to five inches away um, so that I can get, you know, have room for those turnips to grow bigger. Because sometimes, you know, when you have them too close, the, it'll, the growth will actually, you know, that it'll stifle the growth when it's too close like that. Like these right here actually might be, a, well, no, nah, they're not too close, but I push the limits, you know what I mean? <laughs> So sometimes when they're too close, they'll, you know, they won't grow because there's not enough room for it to grow, you know? They're competing in a way. So you see the roots here. Um, you just want to push the root back down in the ground so it gets a, it's going to anchor itself again and start growing, you know? See, that's a big-ass, long-ass root <laughs> right there. So... You know, but it will find a way to anchor itself and start growing again, you know. So I'm just gonna put the dirt on top, push the leaves up. Okay. 
okay so that's how i'm gonna do it and i'm pretty much gonna do that with the rest of this row right here um i gotta be careful with the rows that i'm doing because hubby wants to put some stuff out here and he's like always telling me you're always taking up all the rows <laughs> Uh, can you believe we argue over the garden like how, how can you argue over the garden right but i like it because you know i do appreciate when he helps because it takes pressure off of me so it's cool all right guys so that's pretty much what i wanted to show you guys what i'm doing on this sunday morning i need to hurry up because i got a lot of other things to do today and that's it for now and i'm out